The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. All right, let me just answer this. Okay, we're back. And okay, folks, this is the Tiger Technicians Hour. We're looking at the uh, SP and the E Mini down 30 at 5,099. Looked like there was going to be a two bar, a potential two click session here, this time to the downside. And uh, yeah, we've gotten to that horizontal. Remember, this is the line that we've been talking about for, for since the, about the 24th of February. This horizontal 5100 line that I call the magnet line. And this magnet line um, <clears throat> says that no matter how high you go, there's a chance that you're going to be coming back to test it. And no matter how low you go, you're coming back to test it on the upside. And so far, we've gone all the way to the uh, 5180s. What was that exactly? I forgot to type in the, the price. Uh, it was 5193 level, and now we're at 5096. So um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is that uh, left side, right side price time. All right, let's just get back to the market because this is really important. Friday was an incredible session. Uh, I want to discuss it now. Mm -mm. So the Dow is in a cell mode. Uh, cell mode means that it's upgraded from a cell signal to the designation of a cell mode because it met certain criteria. And then one of those is closing under the 14, the, when, when it turns pink under the 14 period moving average. What I had said is it closed under the 14 period moving average for quite a few times. Therefore, I'm upgrading the cell signal to a cell mode on, on Thursday night which means that there's a really good chance that it's going to take out the up-channel support line, the mini up-channel support line, and it will go to the uh, 384457 low that was made on the 5th of uh, March. One of the reasons being this chap with inside track repellent zone worked its magic by just pushing every time the price got to that level, it pushed the price back down, and now the support level has been taken out. This is the second day that it's taken out. So that's it's really the start of a move to the downside. But we don't look at the weekly chart. It's still looking fantastic. The S&P hit that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there in leg D. It's now at a peak D. Number of times got repelled. And uh, it's down 26 at 5,097. So this is just the first day. We, don't, we cannot even call this a peak D because you have to wait the full session. It's a daily session. You have to wait the full session to get some kind of a um, lower high. And the moment it does that, it goes to a peak D. Okay. Within that context, what we are looking at here is <clears throat> the key support level will be uh, 5,090. First, and then it goes into now. I haven't done this in, in, in other than just to kind of put it in as a gray line. This will become a pink line right here, right there, pink, and that will become inside track propellant zone. So if it gets here and it just bounces off it very sharply, you got to respect that. If it goes right through it, then we say, uh oh, it failed, then I'll just take that away because it's. Uh, it's done its job. So we haven't even gone for a close under the 14 period moving average, although it's very close, and that's at 5,086 is the S&P. The daily chart made a doji candle that's, uh, where it opens and closes at about the same price, and it has a long wick on the upside and downside. So that just says if we close below the low of last week, which will be uh, 5,057.29, that's a negative and says, watch out, because you can there's a real good chance this time you're going to test the nine period moving average, which is at 5,009. Okay, so that's it's a very, very strong, powerful leg up. It's almost like one leg, just one bar rest in that weekly chart from the low of the week of 27th of October at 41.378. That's a spectacular move. Okay, and the leg D in the monthly chart. Looking at the QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. 
Um, and it's a very sharp pullback to maybe make a peak here. Actually, it's almost certainly going to make the, I don't know what could get into the high of Friday of 448.64. You're trading now at 435.83. That's a, that's a pretty big intraday move down, biggest candle we've seen to the downside in a long time. And uh, we're under nine, the nine period moving average. And it's a leg C, maybe a peak C in the a weekly chart of the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. IWM, the Russell 2000, was doing very nicely, made a peak F. There's no new high uh, today. 210.41 was the high. There it is at 205.20. It's getting back under the lip on the left side, which was 205.49 uh, on the 27th of December. Uh, we're going to be watching this really closely because if this holds well while the other areas start to weaken, tells me that when the next big move comes up, Finally, the IWM could become somewhat of a leader, not yet. Now, uh, let's go to the uh, SMHs, which is, okay, so I need to just clarify, yes. So we are short the Dow, we are short the S&P, and we are short the um, SMHs again. So and that's at 219.96, down 5.03. Um, the high on Friday was, did I update that, 239.14? Yep, 239.14. Now, that was a spectacular session. I, I will I will have something in much greater detail on those all, all those round numbers because they they're already there they haven't really proved anything yet but even at the close on Friday um, you can go through all so many stocks uh, SMCI uh, this is super micro uh, company uh, where did that go over there right press that button there we go even after the close. There were, there were round numbers. So there was a close, and then most of the semiconductors gapped down big after, immediately after the close and had round numbers. When I showed it on my video on Saturday, my hour and a, almost a half, it was almost like a 90-minute webinar on, on Saturday, um, I showed because it wouldn't show up today and it wouldn't show up uh, on the close Friday. But if you were looking at the after-hour action, you would have seen that so many had round numbers much lower down. And even today, look, Supermicro had 1,111.00 1, high and is trading now at 1,030, down 109. I, I couldn't even put in all the numbers of, of round numbers. And just says to me, there's a vulnerability here, and I'll, I'll go into that a little later on in the week. Um, and it might be worth having a, um, some kind of a webinar just based on two very, very important indicators in my work. So we're looking at advanced micro devices down 8.20, had a 227.30. Um, high on Friday, it had a 205 low, and um, that wasn't an official close because the close was 199.9. Oh, that was there. That was on. Yeah, I think it was on on Friday. So now it's down um, almost eight at 199.39. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a big move. So I don't want to spend time on that. We, we've gone through it over and over, and then we had areas like Berkshire Hathaway and other completely different sectors that we're seeing round numbers. I, I think we've got to be careful, very careful. Yeah, Dow's down 218, S&P's down 31, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician Dow. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I thank you, Jeff, in the uh, YouTube, Tiger YouTube. Yes, I, I, I should always remember that uh, um, Supermicro is uh, computers. I thought that they had a, a licensing with uh, the semis, but I might be wrong. But anyway, it's it. It's one of the sectors that one of the stocks in a sector that I follow very closely. Uh, but look at this. Uh, Taiwan, I just can't go through them right now. But Taiwan Semiconductor um, was at 158.40 Friday. Now it's at 140. Point. This is the deepest move that we've had to the downside in many of the semiconductors. And that just says to me, some semis need us up. Very often, semis need us down, so I'm just respecting this, and we'll see what happens from here. Now, a couple of things that I want you to go through was uh, just in terms of the TLT. Look, the TLT, uh, right on the 200-period moving, you have 95.79. That's the iShares 20 year Treasury Bond ETF. And if you look at the TB, TBT, which is the uh, short inverse, it's trading uh, un uh, just min yeah, minus two ticks. At 32.33. Now, talking about ticks, look at the dollar. The dollar is running, it's up 12 cents at 102.86. One of the things that's really important, when I was looking at the EUR USD the other day, that's the euro dollar currency pair. There we are. Um, very nice move to the upside. If you look at the weekly chart, there's, uh, there's nothing much to see here. Just as I talk about the dollar, not, there's nothing much to see. Look at the weekly chart. Here is the euro dollar going towards the 200 period moving average of 1.09. Look at the dollar. <clears throat> when you've come down and you've retraced about 61.8 using FIB numbers and you've bounced off the 200 period moving average and then you arch over, that says, watch out, there's weakness, but it's the increase in the amplitude between the nine period moving average and the 14 period moving average that's going to be so important to monitor. So at this particular point, if you look at the weekly chart, this is a sideways move in the dollar. If the market comes down sharply, yes, it could help the dollar move up a little bit towards the 103.77, 200 period moving average. But the most important thing that I've talking about, spoken about for quite a long time and we are long the dollar from 2018. We're still long the dollar, taking little bits off. Uh, one of the reasons is, I've kept this, is that as 
kind of an icon of the U.S. economy, as long as this economy is strong, I think that the dollar is going to hold well. Um, and it's the currency that people go to. Just like in times of, of, of uh, geopolitical strife, money goes to uh, gold. Uh, now, let me just go through this carefully because, look, USD, JPY, that made a peak C1, C2. I showed this the other day, a double top. It made a double top with 151.60, the high that was made in 2023. Came all the way down to 140, then ran all the way back up to this 151. What was it exactly? Uh, this is the one. 150.88. So you just missed it by less than a point. <laughs> no, two points. 50, yep, by two points. And it's pulling back here. Look at this. Uh, almost like a cup and handle pattern. This is a very unusual pattern, but it's stalled at this double top. So it's only the daily start to move down. The weekly is still green, nine period moving average. I'm going to be watching this all very closely because the relationship, and I'm going to also add right now, I know it sounds a little weird, the VIX. I don't like when the VIX, you come off an all time high and suddenly the VIX is Soaring to the upside, up 1.18 and 15.92. It's sustaining the move that's important. Yes, we're making higher high, higher lows in this up-channel chapter move inside track propellant zone. We've gone above the nine period, the 200 period exponential moving average. The nine is over the 14. So, as an index or as an indicator or as a tool, it's saying that. The volatility index has been in play, even though we're making all-time highs over the last week or two in all the different key indices. But most importantly, what we have to look at is the speed with which it jumps to the upside. I don't like to see that. You remember that big move that was on, what was it, February the 12th, yeah, 12th, 13th, where it suddenly hit 17.94. I said, oh, man. That's of all time highs. That's not good. We're going to see a bounce, and we certainly got the bounce. Now there's more a concerted effort. So this tells me that the VIX index now is in play in a slightly different manner. I can only talk about the, not even the first hour of the first day of the week of uh, the first. <laughs> What is this? Is this the first full week? No, the second full week. Second full week coming up of March. So the, the day is young. But I, I'm suspecting that with the rotation of weak stocks, very weak stocks in the Dow, kind of negating anything in the strength area, that um, the VIX is going to be in play this week. And that's all I'm saying. I don't know yet. I don't want to give numbers yet. I just want to say if the VIX drops under 14.20, it's at 15.99 you'll get another big bounce in the market. But as long as it's going to remain here, that's going to be important. All right. Uh, a, couple of th a couple of things that I was asked about. Let me, oh, I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Oh, silver, of course. So silver is trading um, up 0.08 at 24.63. Uh, Leg B could be a peak B. If you look at the weekly chart, nothing really to see. Uh, yes, the nine period moving average this first hour of the week is turning positive. You have to wait. It's a weekly chart. You have to wait until Friday's close. The, the monthly chart, uh, it's just bouncing in this trading range. So silver's not participating as well as gold. Gold, here we go again, um, has taken out the trend line, but the GLD is way above that. The GLD is in leg C in the daily chart, leg D in the weekly chart, only a leg C in the monthly at all-time highs. That's impressive. That is very good action. Okay, uh, if you look at the SLV, uh, SLV is trading at uh, this is Silver Trust iShares. Uh, it's made a peak D, a leg D. It's in a leg C in the daily. <coughs> Sorry, I was into. <laughs> Got my sneeze after that. My daily sneeze. Um, SLV weekly chart is in leg C, and the monthly chart just says, oh, well, um, eh, nothing to see here very much. And now what I would like to do is this. I love to say when, they're, when they've done their job, just take them, use them somewhere else. So this is a chapter with falling axe formation. Now you've got a much higher inside track repellent zone, all the way up to the 2280 area-ish, and we're at 2231. So we're watching that, right? 
falling axe formation. There's the uh, the lower trend line right there. There's the upper trend line. Oops, that's a, that's a, that's a bar, right? Yeah. So okay, with that within that context, what we're looking at is silver is doing okay. It's not great. Uh, now I want you to do high grade copper. High grade copper is HG at HG is trading okay. It's up uh, 0.01. At 3.90, it's holding quite well, but that 200 period moving average in the daily and the weekly chart is like a magnet. It has to push away from the 385 level very strong. It has to get to 398, preferably four, touch four for the first time this week, but I'd even say 3.965 would be impressive. All right, got that out the way. Dow's down 229, SP's down uh, 29. We'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Day Missions out. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. We're back. And, uh, yeah, I've got a little bounce going on in the E-mini and Dan the Dense he bought some NVIDIA calls lower down for a balance. This is the NVIDIA NVDA. Um, 
Yeah. So it made a low this morning of, say, an 879.00 round number high, an 841.66 low. Trading right now at 872. Leg D, it should 876 might be hit. That would be your biggest resistance area. That's a 100. Uh, that's a one minute uh, resistance tr uh, of the 200 period moving average. So uh, all right, let's just see. Okay, let's just go back to uh, ES. So. Um, I, oh, so a question came in, uh, Basil, on Saturday with your good uh, video, we, we discussed some, many things that were really important um, and the reason why you were looking at the uh, short side of the market. Uh, but you also mentioned a stock AQN. Uh, is it, why didn't you put it on the list this morning? All right, let's see. So AQN is Algonquin. Power and utility is trading at 6.43 up three cents. So I showed this particular chart that it made a left side, right side potential price match with the low, which should come in to the first area of, of resistance at um, 6.58. But the real high that we're looking at is 6.74. One of the reasons is I was really so focused on how to implement any new short position when the market had already started to pull back and my mind was kind of focused on a, a one to a two click session on, on the chance that the market market could close at its low on the day. So I didn't want to lose that focus and I wasn't sure where I would get the AQN um, because it closed at the, almost at the high on Friday. Of 643 was the high, and it closed at 641. And it looked from the pre market action that it was trying to gap up. And I didn't, oh, I said gaps up, but my first real target was that left side 658 ish area. So I thought it's just too risky. I, I don't want my mind to, to taken over by different things that are going on because that could be resistance and then it pulls back, which is exactly what it's done so far. It is 657, had a low of 641. And it's trading right now 6.44. So it would have been nice because I'm looking out more intermediate term. But a market like this, I need to see how all the different components on a day like this. If I mean, so far down 175 in the Dow, that's nothing. Uh, down at 18 in the S&P. Hey, that's it's like hey, it's intraday sometimes it move like that, and then we close higher. So I just didn't want to be over. We've built up a cash position right now. I'm happy with that. So sorry about that. But it probably would have been a good one, but I just I left it. Next question came in. So uh, in the den, we've got a question here on Myrna, was it? Yeah, I think it was Myrna. Myrna? Myrna. Uh, Myrna. Oh, 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 wow, that's a beautiful move. Myrna is up. 10.54 up at 113.58 up 10 percent, and uh, now I have to put in an up arrow because the stochastics in 93 percent on balance volume is rallying, peak A, peak B, and it's just gone extended that leg C right through the 200 period moving average. Good, and that's exactly what I wanted to see today. What stocks are independently moving higher? What stocks are impacted? So this is very good. I don't know if I can say the, the monthly 200 notes, the weekly 200 period moving average of 127 will be the target right now, but certainly the left side high of the double top the week of the 12th of January at 115.97, 115.81. Yeah, that would be my next target. So that's uh, yeah, still a few, quite a few points away. And even very short term, yeah, that's what we're looking at right here. So that was that peak D that was made on the 8th of January. Um, I could draw in the cup formation. This could get there a little sooner because I, I would start off by using that and saying, oh, it's a little bit too long on the side. Number of bars still to go with a move like this. So I'd have to move it to a shorter time frame. But most importantly, mm, yeah. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's looking very good. But more, it's more, be more concerned with where's the support level. I don't know what give it, gave it this trigger to the upside. I don't think it's earnings. Um, so that just says 110 to 109 is really your very short-term support. Just 
rather think support than where it can go to because it's on its own trajectory right now. And so far, that's up after the uh, three different cup formations have formed. I hope that helps you. Um, uh, Basil, I made almost 10K on NVIDIA on Friday with just puts. Biggies. Wow, that biggest gain I ever did in one name in one day. Made $6 SMCI puts two weeks ago. Bravo. I, that's great. And when you're using options, it looks to me like you know exactly when to get out. In and out, if that's the kind of uh, trading you want to do. Don't hang around. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. Question on Amazon. Here we go. Amazon is trading. Did I put it somewhere else? Type it in somewhere else? I'll stand up, do it again. There we go. AMZ, Amazon trading at uh, 172.48, down 288. And we're looking to see, yes, yeah, so it made this doji candle, not all time high. That was a, that was in July of 2021 in the 188 area. This is the high of the 4th of March at 180.14. You should have typed that in, mister. 180.80. I think it was 14. Uh, that was a peak E, and now you're making a dreaded H pattern and lower lows and lower highs, almost a one to one to the downside. Going to probably be a peak D if there's no new high above one uh, above that high. I uh, better type in the correct number. <laughs> the high of 180.14. That's right. Um, if it goes one penny above, that extends leg D this week in the weekly chart. And leg C in the monthly chart. So you can expect some kind of, I'm going to put this in, digestive phase. I don't see why we shouldn't get it. I mean, everything there says you've had a spectacular move. Just be ready for some kind of a digestive one. And that says that no matter what happens over the next two weeks, 165.74 is going to be the law of consequence. Um, okay, uh, Apple. Apple is trying to bounce a little bit. It's up 233 at 173.07, this is really taking a dive. And the low that was made, I've got to add a Fibonacci number. Anyway, this is the low that was made at 168.49 on the 7th of March. This is a very nice bounce, 169 close. Oh, I can't believe that. In this case, the round number was for the upside. I remember seeing that in um, Nike that it made a 100 round number. So this is a 100 round number on the downside. And that says, you, normally I'd look at this and say, now you can have a bounce and if it comes back and takes it out, that's very negative. But in the meantime, it's filled in the gap. This is Apple. Um, I'll be back just in Nike as we get the break. N K E. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello, folks. It's Jude and the Dead. I want you to know um, about... Well, I'll get the exact question in a moment, but let me just say what it said. Local stocking supplier of energy and industrial solutions. Okay, I think this is a very intriguing area. So DNL, D N O W, D now is um, it's called Now Inc. New York Stock Exchange. Uh, Transmission is a leading global stocking supplier of energy. I don't know why they say stocking. I keep thinking stockings that you wear. Stocking supplier of energy industrial solutions products and engineered equipment packages. When they mean packages, they probably mean little like uh, uh, little clusters of energy cells or something, not packets, uh, uh, brown bag packets or whatever it is. That's what I'm thinking here. I love it. It's at a new all-time high a couple of days ago. I uh, shouldn't say all-time high. Let me open this up for the monthly. Oh, all-time high. It was once in the uh, 35s, 36 area, and it plummeted down to the 4s, and now it's at 14. Okay, so that's a little different. Now look at the left side. Think of this as a cup, but then it got stuck and went sideways. Sideways is either building energy or, uh, or distribution. In this particular case, I think it's building energy for the energy. So I like it. Um, so the question was... I've been trading them. I do, I do, I do. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. No, no, I can't find the question. I'll find the question right now. I'll do it slowly. Because you had two of them. One was D N O. Oh, there it is. So, dude, good morning. Monday morning. Yep, it's a good Monday morning, Basil. If you could look at D now as well as VKTX looking to go long. How far do they correct? Have my target, but looking for confirmation. So this is what I would do. The fact that it's down today and only 19 cents, what is a $14.54 stock, DNOW? Um, I love the chart pattern. Not only that, look, the gap went right. It skipped onto the line. Looks like a little tightrope. And it holds the tightrope in the 200 period moving averages, tootling all along in the nines. Next day, boops. It's up in the um, 10, and then it goes to 11. And it hasn't looked back since. And I suspect there's going to be a little bit, a couple of days of consolidation. The big problem here is if it has a pullback below 13.60, that weekly chart says, you know, I can take a little time to build strength. I love your thinking. I think you're absolutely correct. This is one to have on your radar. Here's the way I would play it. Um, I, I, I trade it, play it, or uh, position it, three different aspects of t entirely. But to get started, my suspicion from the question that you have, you're looking longer term because like me, you like the chart. So the cup formation on a monthly basis says you can expect a cup to make a little handle and that handle should pull back mm, sometimes as much as a third of the way. If it's a half, that's something completely different. About a third of the way just says that in the 13 area, it's at 14.55 right now, that's kind of where you want to start a position. And I split it in two. So I'd start 
And I'm talking about it. This is the first pullback that it's had in a, in a week, and that was the first pullback it had had in two weeks, having gone straight up. That's a very difficult for me. So as a trade, I'd say I'd start a nibble at four. Uh, 14.20, I'd have just initially, I'd have about a 30 cent stop. If I'm in and it gives me a 16, 16 cents gain, I'd raise the stop and I'd add another position for the new leg C, which would be above 15. If I'm in for a trade, meaning it's like not weeks, but more than more like a swing trade, I'd probably say I want to wait a little bit longer. I'd wait for it to go under 14 and then give me a yell and we'll look at it together. But under 14, I'd start a position. I'd start a small position. And in this particular instance, I'd probably say, because I'm looking out, trying to get to weeks for it to move to a leg C and then a peak C and then a leg D and a peak D, um, I'd get start off with a 40 cent stop, but I tighten it. As soon as you've got 30 cent gain, I tighten that stop. A long term position says that I would start a small position at, now you might miss out, you have to wait just a little bit to see if there's a follow through down day, but in the 1420 area, but you're going to have to give it like 60 cents, and then you want to add to it, but you add to it on time and price, not just time, not just price. So those are the three. What am I looking for? I'm looking for in the monthly chart, all of the stuff on the left, um, and that goes to the resistance at 15.33. That's the that's in July of 2019. All of these going from 15.33 to the high that was made in August of uh, 2018 to 18.56. But because it's gone sideways for long, so long, then had this big spike up. If the spike had gone a little higher, well, the month is young. If the spike goes a little higher and can hold for a full week above 16, now let's call it 1580, above 1580, I'm saying to you, yeah, I, I feel very comfortable adding at that point. Okay, so I hope that helped you. Next question was VKTX. So VKTX, I haven't understood this one. Uh, I keep seeing it flash by. It's at 67.04, down 4.80. And what is it? It's, it's a, isn't it biotech? Yes, Viking. Oh, of course. I did have this notated at some point, and then I, I lost it. I had it notated because I kept seeing it on the ticker, uh, the CNBC ticker, when I'd, I'd be looking at CVKTX, and it would come about, and it was always hysterical. I mean, it was doing nothing, and then suddenly would like the other day, back in February, is tootling along in the uh, 38 area, and the next thing you know, it's at uh, 90 point, and has a high of 90.00. Goes one more bar to uh, 99.41, and then it pulls back very sharply to uh, 82, 83 point. This is different. I can't do the same thing with Viking, because this is in the biotech area, and everything about it says that this particular move to the upside is going to fill in this gap. I could be wrong, but this is what biotechs do. When they're done, they're done until they get the next energy. Big spike. So 57, it's trading at 66 right now. Give me a yell when it gets to uh, 62, and we'll see if it's going to, how it's going to, or if it's going to take out that. And then if it does, I wouldn't even touch it for a while. So one yes and one no. Um, and, and target, I'd be saying the target on A, B, I think it's C. The, the target for me is 105, but I'd be looking at, and I, I can only really establish that when I get a sense of where this comes back down to. But that's kind of the way I'd be looking at long term. Next question came in here is, um, did I do, wait, did I do Myrna? Ah, yes, I did do Myrna. Okay, fine. Uh, next question was, Statement or question? Yes. Okay. Oh, a question about um, GBTC. I said, GBTC, see, this is the problem with this. I don't care about getting in 
It's where you put the stop and you have to have stops. And that's the reason why I've kind of stepped away. Remember when we had it back at 12 GBTC Bitcoin Risk and Trust way back a few years ago? Once we got in that way and started moving out, we were comfortable wherever it went, even though it went to 58. But this is a little different. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey folks, in this uh, segment, let me just finish up by saying GBTC this is the first time that I'm going to say to the question about GBTC, I'm going to say I'm getting work here that suggests almost the same thing as I saw in the semis. Uh, it's a little different because they had, um, it's just a little different, but I'm I'm going to say to you, take a little bit off right here. The, the question also was where to add for someone else. 
I would not add right now. I'd actually take a little bit off, and tomorrow we can talk about where to add. I need to see what happens, but I'm just getting signals now. Say it's kind of a war. QQQ, question is, where do I think it could come down to if it does start to turn down even more from here? It'll fill the, some of the gap between 432 and 430, and right now it's 438. That's a long way to go. And I don't know if it's going to be speed. We'll see, because... This is it. The buyers just keep coming. Oh, the nine period moving averages are still pretty strong. I had one more question. Oh, good. That's Robin Hood. Yeah, this is in late D. It's done very well. A little bit over four, but as long as client comes to those seconds that favors, uh, it's, it's in the uh, 15.80 would be my uh, entry point if you aren't in it already. Back. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay to check out Mo 